breaking news in Milwaukee. An officer involved shooting that's not too far from when the Republican National Convention is being held. Nate Rogers joins us live with what we know so far. Nate? <laughs> Yeah, absolutely, Terrence and Sylvia. Good evening to the both of you. I got to tell you, the community and relatives of the men killed here are certainly um, shaken by all of this. Keep in mind, the RNC is deemed a national special security event, bringing thousands of officers, many of which are from out of state, right here into downtown Milwaukee. Now, witnesses tell me the man killed was engaging in an argument with another man before police shot him. Take a good look at your screen. This is 42-year-old Sam Sharp Jr., a known Jehovah Witness and beloved by his friends um, who now mourn his death. Here's Sharp's dog being taken away by animal control. The shooting happened near King Park on West Vallette Street, which contains a large homeless population. All of this located about a mile west of RNC's secure perimeter. Now, Sharp's relatives tell me police were already canvassing the park when the argument broke out. Witnesses say Sharp did have a knife and was asked to drop it by police. What happened next, we're still waiting to learn from authorities. We do know that Sharp was shot multiple times. Fox 32 sources confirming the police officer involved is from Columbus, Ohio. So what did you see in terms of the officers? They approached him or what? We just seen the officers in the park. We seen Jehovah run by and we were yelling at me like, you know, hey, the police are here. And next thing we know, the police was running at him and he turned like he was in shock and he didn't know what to do. Like he was like, which way do I go? He went to go put his knives down, and they just started shooting. How many gunshots did you hear? I heard about 20 in his back. And again, relatives told us off camera that Sharp was homeless and suffered from various mental challenges. They're wondering why out-of-state police were in their community unfamiliar with the climate here. Um, just yesterday, protest groups were actually in this community rallying for more support for many of the homeless folk that stay around here. We're still waiting on official word from Milwaukee police on exactly what happened again. As you can see, still a very active scene. There are dozens of officers scattered around this park. Of course, we'll continue to follow this, keep you updated on air and online. We're live in Milwaukee. Nate Rogers, Fox 32 Chicago. What in the hell? What in the Sam's hell did he shoot Sammy for? What the hell? Oh, my God. Y'all got to excuse me. I know Sammy. Um, This is ridiculous. And I'm going to find out more information. I'll be bringing you some more information regarding this story, why Sam got shot, any kind of update when I find out more. Because this right here, and from somebody from out of town, Oh, my God. They said he had a knife. And somebody, Jesse, told me that they shot him down like he was a rag doll. He was out there. Of course, a lot of them gather in the park over there. It's, it's Valise Street. It's right by the welfare building. What the f... Okay, let me calm down. I, I'll bring y'all more information as I as I gather it. See you in the next video.